speaking intermediate number one. Yesterday, I visited my grandmother in the hospital. She is recovering from a fall. She slipped on some ice on the driveway. She has a broken hip and a lot of bruises. She had surgery on fr Friday. The doctor fixed her hip. He inserted some metal pins into the bone. The pins hold the bone together. She has to stay in the hospital for a few weeks. She needs to stay in bed so her hip can heal. The hospital is boring. She doesn't have many things to do. I am going to visit her a few times every week. We can play cards or watch movies together. Visiting the hospital. Visiting. So this one, that's V. Visit. Visit. Right? So this is visit, but when you put ing, visiting, T comes between two I's. So two vowels, it sounds like ri, ri. So it says visiting, visiting, visiting. And then this one, hospital. Ha, has, p, do. Hospital. Actually, on the first double, so T comes between I and a uh, sound. So there are two vowels. So T flaps. Say hospital. Hospital. Visiting the hospital. Visiting the hospital. Yesterday, I visited. I visited my grandmother in the hospital. She's recovering from a fall. She slipped. So this one sounds like T. Slipped on some ice in the driveway. She has a broken hip and a lot of bruises. So bruise and bruises. She had a surgery on Friday. The doctor fixed her hip. So here, this ED sounds like T. So fixed her, fixed her hip. He inserted, inserted, inserted. T after R sounds like R. So you say inserted some metal, metal. You can say metal, but T comes between two vowels. So it flaps, metal. Metal pins into the bone. The pins hold the bone together. She has to stay in the hospital for a few weeks. She needs to stay in bed so her hip can heal. The hospital is boring. She doesn't have many things to do. I'm going to visit her. So this one, visitor. So look at this. Visit, V, Z. And then H is silent, becomes er. And then vowel, vowel, so visitor. Visitor. I am going to visit her a few times every week. We can play cards or watch movies together. Yesterday, I visited my grandmother in the hospital. She is recovering from a fall. She slipped on some ice on the driveway. She has a broken hip and a lot of bruises. She had surgery on fr Friday. The doctor fixed her hip. He inserted some metal pins into the bone. The pins hold the bone together. She has to stay in the hospital for a few weeks. She needs to stay in bed so her hip can heal. The hospital is boring. She doesn't have many things to do. I am going to visit her a few times every week. We can play cards or watch movies together. Number one. I visited my grandmother in the blank. I visited my grandmother in the hospital. Hospital. I visited my grandmother in the hospital. Number two, she has a broken blank. 
She has a broken hip. H I P. She has a broken hip. Number three. She sleep on some blank. She sleep on some ice. I C E. She sleep on some ice. Number four. The doctor inserted blank in her hip. The doctor inserted pins. The doctor inserted pins in her hip. And number five, she has to stay in bed so she can blank. She has to stay in bed so she can heal. H E A L. Let's go back to the first sentence. I visited. Visited. V Z T. But T comes between two vowels. So you say visited. Visited. My grandmother in the hospital. Hospital. So this T flaps. Hospital. She has a broken hip. She has a. She has a. She has a broken hip. She has a broken hip. She slipped on some ice. Slip on. So here, slipped. Slipped. So this ED sounds like T. Slipped on. Slipped on. Slipped on. She slipped on some ice. Number four, the doctor inserted pins in her hip. So inserted. In. Sir. T, but after R, T sounds like R. So inserted pins in her hip. You can say inner. Inner, H can be silent. Inner hip, inner hip, or in her hip, that's up to you. The doctor inserted pins in her hip. She has to stay in bed so she can heal. She has to stay in bed so she can heal. Let's read the sentences one more time. I visited my grandmother in the hospital. She has a broken hip. She slipped on some ice. The doctor inserted pins in her hip. She has to stay in bed so she can heal.